I've, again, I've always wanted to be more focused on the creative process as opposed to getting stuck into is my compression ratio set right or you know am I boosting the wrong or right frequency here and there. I seem to be more, you know, I, I seem to very because I, we're all obsessed. I think when you, when you, when you want to be a producer, or when you are a producer, or you, an aspiring or professional, I think you tend to obsess about a lot of things. It's the nature of the gig, you know. So you tend to obsess about this minute little. Is it one k or one point one k? Ah, it, it gets messy, you know. And I, I find myself not wanting to get lost there, you know. Uh, where you can easily get lost often, you know, and so I tend to always go back to the, to, to the creative process. So if I say anything of any value, that would be it, <laughs> you know. The rest of it is really, you know, as, as subjective, but I'll, I'll try and, and, and sort of uh, just chat about how I've, I've approached things enough so that'll hopefully have some value to you. But um, the starting point being how much you know is is your imagination doing as opposed to what is the gear doing for you? You know, it's a very simple philosophy. The gear needs to facilitate your imagination. You know, and I think it, it will be an ongoing process to try and find the balance because sometimes, I mean, because the software is so intuitive nowadays, you can really, I mean, you can you stumble onto something, and go, oh, that's cool. You know, so there's always the back and forth thing, but never never to be unaware or forget about what you envisage and what your vision is you know because uh, I think the overall sort of perception and, and uh, I can't really speak for everyone but I would imagine that in the industry in general um, I think the overall perception for a producer a label being producer nowadays would be fundamentally to you're a facilitator you know okay so I need a producer I've got this gig I've got this in idea I want to do it I need a producer to do stuff you know, but the, facil the, fa the actual facilitating of the process is just half of it, you know. I think, you know, I think a very underrated and sometimes oversight in, in the in process of producing is really the creative thing. And um, with my emphasis or my focus being on that, I've always made sure that if I do get a call or when I do get a call for a gig, for a production gig, my, f you know, um, I don't even think about the process um, until I'm in the gigs itself, you know. Um, and I'm not saying I'm not planning for it. It's just uh, the, the fun, the starting point always being I uh, contact, you know, if I'm in contact with the artist, I would arrange enough meetings so that I meet mine so I can create my vision. You know, that's often overlooked because you think, okay, you're going to just do the gig. It's nice, nice songs or whatever. And then you start working and in the, yeah, it can evolve. It's, this, the thing is, there's no wrong or right here. That's what I'm saying. I'll, I'll contradict myself all the time. But, it, you know, I just think it helps, you know, to, in, 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 in relation to, you know, creativity, to, to really have a clear vision of where you want it to go, you know, and not, and, and let the, 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 the gear help you with that as opposed to lead you in a way. <laughs>